everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to the GM Ashley show. Let's talk uh, chess today. I, I got a big pawn behind me. Yes, I saw somebody recognize that. That's my big pawn. Uh, you know, pawns got to run the show. You know, I got the ball head like a pawn too. So, hey, what's up? What I want to go to today is I want to talk about the U.S. Championship. The commentary that we're doing right now for the U.S. Championship, me, Yaz, and Jennifer Shahadi. Jen holds it down, Yaz, with a silky smooth voice. You can't ever ruffle that man. He's awesome. And we make this team of ours. We're loving it. And so what I'm going to tell you is we're doing great. We're, we're having fun. That's what's happening. We're having fun. The U.S. Championship, of course, had to go online like everything else right now happening in the world. We had to go online and the players are playing rapid chess. And let me tell you, they are bringing the entertainment. So far, we had the girls junior go by. Carissa Yip by a point and a half dominated the event, dominated the event. Then in the junior championship, I'm going to talk to you about that right now. Beautiful stuff. I got to show you. And then we had the seniors. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who won either one. If you haven't been following, if you have, hopefully, you know. All right. So this was this has been fun. Of course, there are mistakes. It's rapid chess. It's going to happen. But the mistakes make it more entertaining. We've been having fun with that. We've been interviewing the players. And I can't wait to show you. I got a couple of games to show you from the junior championship. But I got some real good games to show you from the OGs. The Benjamins, it's all about the Benjamins. We're going to get to that in a minute. So let's get on with the show. First game up, and you can throw out the questions, the, the comments, whatever you want to do. I'm going to try to read the chat. So let's go to our first game. In this game, I'm at the finishing position, even though I said it differently. How about, you know, I'm at the finishing. No, no, I'm not. Oh, look at that. I said it right. I'm so happy with myself. I'm so proud. All right, here we go. We're going to go over this game. Jeffrey Zhang, you know him. Young killer assassin. 2,700 plus player. And he's going up and up. He's 19. He's going to turn 20 soon. But he's got aspirations. I don't know if he's going to get into the top 10 in the world. But he's got talent. Talent out of the yin-yang, like I said. He's great, a great, great young player. So Jeffrey uh, was the favorite to win this event. Mm, something happened on the way to the party. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't always win just because you're the favorite. So let us now take a look at one of his games. And this game you're going to love. The finish to this game, I guarantee you're going to love it. Now, he was looking like he was running the show. He, he, you know, he dropped a little, little blood early, but then he started winning games. And then in the last round, it looks like he was just going to do it. And this is one of the games that made you go, Jeffrey, that's nasty, Jeff. That's just nasty. All right. Well, let's take a look. He was playing against Joshua Shang. Good player. Good. Got some talent. Jeffrey talent. We'll see. Let's see. It happens. So I'm going to show you the, the move. Jeffrey had the white pieces and here he played king to h1. And he's obviously threatening a very straightforward mate. It's always nice when your king makes a retreating move and you threaten mate in one. That's not often that happens. But here we go. Mate threat. So Joshua decided, you know what? That's easy to stop. Let me just play knight d6. What's the problem? My rook's holding that down. What kind of attack could you possibly have? My queen's guarding that. Everybody's covered. We're looking good. It actually was a very good move. Until Jeffrey dropped the next move on him. And I'm wondering if you guys in the chat see this next move. Because this was just like one of those where you just get excited when you see it. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Something's good is happening right now. Okay. And I'm seeing C. I'm seeing uh, Rook take G7. No, that's, that's not going to work. Rook take G7 is not going to work, folks. I see a couple of people suggesting it. But this, this is going to be a, a Rook takes... And remember, the knight can always, excuse me, draw the arrow right, can always drop back and defend that knight. Queen takes is not going to, you guys are looking for special moves, man. Queen takes g7, just giving away your girl like that. What, what kind of suggest? Ooh, Nishi dropped the move. Big up to Nishi for finding rook to g6. 
That's an all-star move right there. Yeah, we're pinning the knight to the queen. Don't touch my rope, fool. You get mated. Just drop it. Just drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Just drop the move in. Rook G6 and be like, what? You don't even know what is threatening because it's not, you know, is it really threatening Rook takes knight? No, not really. It's not a threat. It's just a rook is sitting in your house. It's in your living room. The feet are up on the couch. Like, my rook's in your face. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So the guy played, Joshua did, play queen b6. There's no concrete threat at the moment. Let me bring my queen back into the act, he said. All right, no problem. Let's double on the G line. The threat now is like the bomb. Killer. Kill on G7. The party's on G7. So now, what do you do? This next move, if you find this move, I'm going to tell you straight up. If you find this move, respect. Respect. I can give you, I can give you some minutes to find Black's next move. Black's next move, he, there's the move he played, which got smoked. And then there's his next move, uh, his right move, the correct move, which would have saved him. So I want to just see if you find the next move for Black, the best defensive move. Now, defense is hard. While you're busy trying to figure this out, defense is the hardest thing in chess, in my opinion, because not only do you have to counter your opponent's threats, you have to see them in the first place. So that means you have to see all the attacker's possibilities and counter it with the best defensive tries. So really, there should be a lot of puzzles on defense that you look up. If you study your defensive tactics, your game is going to go to the next level. Just next level. The art of defense. The, the players today, the top players today, they have it down. I'm going to tell you straight up. They have it down. The art of defense. So now... I'm seeing 98, 98, uh, sorry, if you move your knight, got your girl. Sorry, you can't do that. Mm -mm, that's not going to work. All right. What move did you come up with? I did see, I did shout out to a couple of people who found the right move here for black. The defense, I'm just going to hold it off for a second. And I'm going to play the movie I actually played. Queen C7. I like drama. If you don't know, that's how I do commentary. It's just, I just like drama. That's how I play the game. I keep you guessing on the edges of your seat. All right. Right here, Queen C7 was played. And Jeffrey dropped a bomb, like a straight bomb on the guy's head. Like, bloop. He, looked, he thought he was defending everything. Like, everything looked covered. And what did he do in this position? I see, uh, is that ill? Ixor? Lixor? Not sure what how the name works. I see A3. Who's making fun? I pet Tov. I pet Tov. You said A3. That's going to feature in the commentary. That's going to feature heavily in the commentary. Heavily. All right? A3. Watch out for that move, folks. That's going to be a big time move in this commentary. In this, in this, on this stream. But I'm, 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 I'm setting you up. I'm setting you up for the future right now. All right. In the meantime, the move, which was said, and now I see Baba Babu Nate, or Babu Nate, don't know how to pronounce that. Don't hate on me if I got that wrong. Is the move rook to h6? I mean, the rook just slid into g6 and then it shifted to h6. I mean, slide into g6, and then slide to the slide to the left, slide to the right, slide to the crisscross. <laughs> anyway, he went to g6, then he went to h6. I mean, geez, what a rook. That's a rook. I mean, that's a rook, ain't it? I mean, tell me that's not a rook. That rook, I, and the word smooth come out. Smooth. I'm going to write a book called Smooth. Haters, y'all know what I'm talking about. Rook H6. What a move. Now you ask, what is he threatening? Well, he's trying to spank? <laughs> spank. That's what he's threatening. He's going to hurt the guy's feelings. That's what he's threatening. What a move. Rook H6. I mean, the guy just, just dropped. He just, that's it. Would you go, just, nobody's over there. Nobody's living over there. It's just a mating attack. You can't move the pawn. The pin is on. Uh, that was it. He played rook to f7. Jeffrey said, give me that. And now let me slide my rook to the left. Get it out of danger. I'm open exchange. Check. That's not going to do anything. Queen d5. Get your queen back. 
Queen drop to the back rank. Let me hit your knight. Rook f6. Double on the line. And after h6, trying to get a little luft. Oops. Sorry, no can do. Time to resign. You take that. I check you and I wreck you. And that's game over. Amazing sequence by Jeffrey Zhang. No wonder this kid is 2,700. But let's get back to that critical moment in the game we we're talking about right here. The art of defense. The guy just double rooks on you. What do you do? Well, the drawing move is computer S. It's fantastic. And it's 94. What? Knight E. Stop it. Four. <laughs> Your queen is hanging. But so what? Your queen is hanging. No problem. I'm hitting your rook from the side. But here's the funny part. Before you look at that move, I'm going to just back you up one second. There's another move a friend of mine told me. The move was knight to b5. And was trying to argue with me like, this move looks great. This move is brilliant. This move looks fantastic. I mean, what's the deal? This move looks great. It's the same thing as the knight before move. It looks great. The problem with this move is when I hit you with rook g7, poo pow. Now, when you take the queen, uh, oops, uh, <clears throat> you get your feelings hurt. <laughs> Mate's coming. And that, that's going to be mate. You take that and uh, you can cry now. I mean, I'm not really feeling sorry for you because, you know, I'm saying you're trying to insist on bad moves. So knight b5 does not work. Knight e4, on the other hand, the same tactical blow, looking for the same mate. You can have my queen get surprised by bing, 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 bing. Knight takes f2, check. Your king has to move, and now your rook has gotten took. Look at that. Your king's in the way. There's no mate, and now who's the one in tears? Knight e4 would have been a special defensive move in this position. This would have saved Joshua. I mean, if you have to find moves like that to, to save yourself, damn, life is, like chess is hard, man. Chess is hard, I got to admit. That was an amazing, amazing move. This is what you guys missed. This is what was happening in the U.S. Championship. If you didn't see it, I mean, bam, boom, bam, boom, pow, give me that. I mean, these, these are the kind of finishes you like. This is, this is good stuff right here. Good stuff. I got to just show it twice. It's so nice. You got to show it twice. What an amazing, amazing game. That was Jeffrey Jean versus Joshua Shane. You can show it to your students. You can show it to your friends. This was sweet, nice. Oh, Mati call this a crispy position. That's one of my words. Crispy. Crispy. I'm using that tomorrow. Crispy. I should write that down. Crispy. Who's my favorite chess player ever? How come you don't know that? If you know Maurice Ashley, you know that. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Mikhail Tal. Mikhail Tal, the wizard from Riga. Best ever, in my opinion. All right. So... The next game was your man, John Burke, and uh, John Burke did work this championship. Let me tell you straight up, that young man can play. I was very impressed. And what I want to do is I'm going to go through the first few moves real quick. You can take like, a look. It's the opening. You know what? It's a blur. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I just don't like to talk about the opening too much. We got to this position. Let me hit the knight, hit the bishop. The bishop goes back. Now, here we get to the good stuff. Opening's done. Pieces are developed. You know all this stuff. I don't have to tell you. All right, here we go. This was the first very interesting moment in the game I want you to take a look at. All right? Take a look. White decided, I got to get me a bishop. I take the bishop. You know, you take back. I'm going to push my pawn down the board. I'm going to do my thing on you, right? Two bishops and all. And black played a move that you're not supposed to play in chess. You're supposed to take towards the center. But Korchnoi talked about this. The strong players know the exceptions to the rules. And one of the exceptions that occurred in this moment, F takes away from the center. Now, it's very obvious, you know, you're opening up a file for your rook. So it looks like, yeah, why not do it? But it's a long-term weakness. When you say your pawns are now away from the center, you give the superiority to white in the middle of the board. With all, you know, white's got the two bishops and got these pawns. So you would think white's going to work you over later in the game. This game's going to open up and you're going to regret, especially opening this diagonal. You might get your feelings hurt, right? But you got to know when to break the rules. And Yolk just said it, knowing the rules and when to break them 
is what makes you great. I've been breaking a lot of rules in my life, so I must be really great. I'm saying. Well, I, anyway, that's a different thing. Different thing. Let's get back to the chess. All right. So in this position, he said, let me play G5. Now, where does your knight belong? Knight on the rim is not far from being dim or grim or whatever rhyme you want to put in that situation. All we know is there's an old school saying, don't put your knight to the side. Except when you're a young G who understands the game and said, that's not going to be a problem for the moment. I'm going to stop up your counterplay right here. And this knight, pay attention. It's going places, okay? It's going places. This knight is going to be grimmer, right? For white. Watch what happens. H4, knight C5. Next knight, school. Two good knights, by the way. Two interesting knights, but this one you might question. Queen to C2, dropping back because it was a little knight A4 threat in the position. And now Queen F7. The first benefit, the first benefit of the capture towards the side as opposed to towards the center, away from the center. You got the file. So now White just wants to castle and start a bum rush. You know what I mean? He just wants to castle, get a little D4 action going, and saying, I got the bees. I got the killer bees. I'm going to open up the game. You're going to get your feelings hurt. What did so what did he do? He played rook H2. Said, I got the pawn covered. Your knight's trapped for the moment. I'm just going to get my king out of dodge. And I'm going to start working you over with a d4 break. What did black do? Uh, sorry, I see a weakness. I see weakness. Bring my knight back into the party. You can't touch it because, oops, 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 your piece is hanging. Thanks to the open file. This is chess. When we saw this move happen on the board, me, Yasser, and general were like, mm, mm. You know when you're doing commentary, you go, mm, mm. I mean, this is the good stuff. This is the what the GMs are looking. We, we want to see games like this. We want to see exceptions to the rule. We don't want to see the standard stuff. We want to see the exceptions to the rule. When you can take away from the center, when you can put your knight on the side, when you drop your pieces on squares, you're not supposed to drop your pieces on. This is when we're having fun. You feel me? This is the real deal. Not the, not the boring games where the guy centralizes everything and opens up the center and breaks through and wins a pawn, plays some anger. No, we've seen that a million times. We want to see games like this. Mama told me there would be games like this. All right. So we're loving this game right now. What did he do? He said, all right, <laughs> the knight's in. It's trying to take my bishop. Uh, maybe trying to get back home. So let me just drop bishop h3 on him. And now I'm going to take your knight. Leave. Get out. I don't care you showed up and I couldn't take you. It's time to get to stepping out of the place. And then he's going to be like castles and I'm out. No problem. <laughs> Black, Mr. Burke, I told you he was doing work. He said, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm hanging out. And not only am I hanging out, I'm inviting homegirl. <laughs> homegirl said, oh, you can get in the party. I'm coming in the party. <laughs> I said, Bam. <laughs> Hello. What? You know that black pieces are not supposed to be showing up in the white living room like this. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. The queen said, you're not castling. Hello. My knight's still holding you down. My queen's in a position. You better find a move because <laughs> we're not trying to leave. Now, white in this position had to keep their mind clear, like clear. Because when you see pieces like this just show up in your face, you start to get a little nervous. Like they don't belong there. Just, like, what's this doing here? What's it? You know, you start getting nervous. And the best move, the art of defense. What did I say about defense? The art of defense. The best move was this retreat. Queen D. Now, first of all, you're undefending this pawn. Second of all, you're a little worried about this guy. But it turns out that this covers all the bases. Queen trade might happen. Knight drops back, and you you know you're back in business as white. Your man panicked here after queen f3. He saw all the threats coming, and so he decided to play the move. By the way, I should point out, if you dare, to dare take this pawn, be prepared to get your feelings hurt because this check is going to wreck you. You can't go to this file. You can't move your king and walk into this nasty, loverly. Move your king up. Give, give me more food, and your bishops don't. They're not going to look at this line. It's embarrassing. Seriously, I shouldn't have showed it. That's too embarrassing. Where am I? I'm back, back here. Uh, yeah, right here with F takes E3. Right, so that line was ugly. Queen takes E3, check. 
if you block with somebody, you know, the att- raging, Chuck, wake up, smell the coffee, pieces are hanging, you're getting your feelings hurt. Somebody suggested a move. Bishop G2. What the heck? King to D2. Take the knight. Okay, yeah, I think I refuted that line. So, don't touch the knight. Can't touch this. This is the MC Hammer variation. Can't touch this. Queen's in the house. Don't act crazy. You can analyze it to the moon. You're getting busted. So, like I said, Queen D1 was the best move. He played Rook to D1. Now, King, he can't castle. I mean, he can't go nowhere. He just can't castle. It's not going to happen. Not today. Not, I mean, what queen, you see a move like this, you know, you just, <sighs> now, by the way, the move Bishop G2, if you, if you want to play this move, because you think this would be a good move, this looks like it might be a nice variation to play. Mm, you might get your feelings hurt two different ways. When we saw this on the broadcast, we said, hey, uh, let's start with a queen sack. <laughs> Ouch. Pain. Okay. Gift me the pawn, as Yasser Sirwan says. Your queen is hanging multiple ways. There's either going to be a rook or a knight landing in your kitchen. This is the bedroom talk, actually, right here. And now you're going to really be hurt. Now, by the way, he can even switch it around. Knight takes with check. Give me that with check. Back again with check. And the whole thing is falling house of cards everybody's falling so don't think bishop g2 saves yourself defense i'm telling you defense wins championships defense i don't care how much offense you got whatever your offensive skills are forget about it defense is what wins championships so bishop g2 didn't work rook d1 is what he played hoping one day this knight will leave not today knight's not going anywhere e4 keep the attack going three forward moves it's going to go down and that's going to be it. D4, he tried to keep lines closed. Another night. And another one. Biggie Small, straight out of Brooklyn. And another one. <laughs> the night, look at these pieces. They just don't belong. He's like, I got to kill this. And kill that. Now you're going to move your knight? Please. Just give a man a break. Please. No. No love for you. No love for you. Don't touch my knight. I, like I said, the MC Hammer variation. Don't touch my knight. Bing, 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 bing. So <laughs> he played bishop to c1. And the guy wouldn't stop. I mean, he just kept going. By the way, taking the knight, you could also take on g3 with check. So even that doesn't work. Rookie four. Finally, queen c2. He said, okay, now I'm going to back my knight out. I'm hitting this pawn because of this sweet little pin right here. Queen d1. Give me the pawn. I'm up an exchange. I'm up a pawn. You can't take my queen because queen takes queen runs into the octopus knight giving trouble. I mean, geez, the word curtains. I see Kiff78 say curtains, curtains. Yeah, you got that right. This is game. Knight takes d4. He play queen d3. You can't touch the knight still because the queen takes queen. He's taking all your pieces. Man, mommy, that was a bad man. He's a bad man. <laughs> You're right, he's a bad man. This is a straight beat down. He took, took. Oh, a mate threat. Oh, my gosh. Let's hope he doesn't see it. Yeah, he saw it. Stop your dreaming. Quit your whining. Give me some of this. Give me that. I'm not even taking your rook yet. I'll go get it later. King March up the board. I'm just playing out the last moves just to show you what happened check and uh you're about to get made when your king comes back the rook's coming down when you go here it's over